What's up, Taurus? This your girl, the flight Empress, and I am here to do you guys August reading. All right, we're going to go ahead and jump into this. Remember that this reading might not resonate with everyone. So only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. All right. Show me what I need to see. Oh. Come on, Holy Spirit for my Taurus. Mm. Mm. <laughs> um, Taurus. <laughs> so for some of you guys, you could have met someone. Okay, this could be a high vibe in man for some of you guys. Or this person is just in their masculine energy. For my fellas that's watching this, you could be meeting a female that's just in their masculine energy. But I don't know why I'm getting love at first sight. <laughs> Some of you guys could be meeting somebody for the month of August. But yeah, I don't know, family. I don't know about this. You might need to be careful because we are walking into a energy where there could be unexpected connections, relationships, new friendships forming, but it can also be very fleeting. Okay. And this is due to the planetary alignments. I'm not going to go ahead and I'm not going to get into that, but we are walking in an energy where you could be meeting people unexpectedly or things could be coming to you unexpectedly, especially during this first week of August. But there is a need for you to i'm here and take your time all right somebody could be wanting to move fast with you all right um i feel like there could be a lot of attraction between you and this person this could be somebody that you meet out okay i'm hearing like a um i'm here in boulevard Okay, this could be like a strip. This could be a place where it's a lot of restaurants or um, I'm getting bars or, you know, a place where you hang out at. Um, you could be meeting somebody here. And I feel like you and this person can hit it off very well. But it's kind of giving me like whoever this is, they could be a little bit fleeting. Okay. Um, and for some of you guys, you might not be wanting nothing serious. You know, and if that's the case, then, hey, baby, okay, just make sure they wrap it up, <laughs> use protection. But um, I'm seeing whoever this is, they could be traveling towards you or coming to visit you. Um, this is somebody that I feel like is not really commit, com <laughs> oh, this person is not ready to commit, or this is somebody who's not ready to get in like a long-term relationship or a connection. This could definitely be somebody who have a lot of options or <sighs> this person believe in mingling with different people. I'm seeing that movie, How to Be a Player. If you guys remember that movie back in, I think it was the 1990s or something. But yeah, okay, this person could have, you know, a main chick or something like that. But this is somebody who has a wandering eye. This is somebody, this person have a lot of women on the side or they got friends with benefits on the side, okay? This could be somebody who got a lot of men, you know, that they deal with as well. I feel like there's definitely a need for you guys to watch yourself because this could also be somebody who just picking up random strangers, okay, off the streets. Okay, Jezebel energy, <laughs> This could be somebody who got a Jezebel energy attached to them, but I'm hearing this motherfucker fine. <laughs> okay, some of you guys like, hell nah, this motherfucker too fine, fly empress. <laughs> I'm hearing this just my type. Okay, something about this person being your type. This could be somebody who's in like middle age or this person look very successful. They could be successful. They could have a lot of things going on for them. But I feel like this is somebody who's very sexual or somebody who, uh -huh. 
It's like if you do like deal with this person or if you did decide to have a one night stand with this person, this is somebody you're going to want to keep dealing with. OK, and I feel like this is somebody who's not going to be available or this person on to the next. Something like that. Family, definitely be on the lookout for like illusions. OK, um, don't believe what you see with your physical eyes. Just. You know, really, if you want to get to know someone or if you want something serious, you need to say that up front. OK, you can even ask this person, but this could be somebody who lies shit. They might not even tell you the truth. They might just tell you what you want to hear just to, you know, take your clothes off or something. But um, I feel like this is somebody who done been around. This person I've been around, this is somebody who got really good looks. This person could have a mustache and a beard. They could be rocking that rugged type of look. This could be somebody who also, like, when they go out, they dress up nice. I'm hearing, you know, they look good when they go out. You know, it's like when you see them on the streets or, like, if you see them at work, you know, they look good. But damn, like, when they dress up, you like, fuck. <laughs> This could be somebody who also smell really good. I feel like this person do care about their appearance, but this is somebody who know they fine. They know they fine and they know they can pull whoever they want to pull. And spirit is saying you're needing to be careful here. All right. Um, for some of you guys, this person <laughs> could have a disease. They don't have to, but they could, especially with this Jezebel energy. But yeah, this is somebody who definitely done been around, baby. Spirit, show me what I need to see. Yeah, um, Taurus, I feel like for some of you guys, you just want to like de-stress or decompress. There could be a lot of things going on at work. Work could be very hectic this month. It could be very challenging. But some of you guys, I'm picking up like feeling overwhelmed. It's just so much to do. It's like you don't even have time to sit down. It's like when you do leave work, your feet hurt, your back hurt, your legs hurt, your head hurt. And it's like you feel like you just need to get away. Or for some of you guys, you could be going out with friends just to get away or to like clear your mind. Because I'm, I'm seeing like it's just a lot going on. For some of you, I'm seeing like there could be, okay, somebody in management that wants you to work over or it's like they want you to do their job. They could be wanting for you to, I'm also hearing something about they want you to do something that is not, I, I heard this in a collective reading, that's not in your job description. Okay, you're going to need to stand your ground for the month of August. But I'm hearing high demand, okay? I feel like you're going to be in high demand or like everybody come for you, come come for you. Damn, you're going to have people coming for you for some of you guys. But it's like everybody come to you when they need a problem solved. I feel like you're very good at what you do. You're very organized or like you done went over the fine print or maybe you done been at this place for a long time. You could be like a mentor for some of you guys. You could have trained people, but it's like everybody is coming to you for help. And for some of you guys, it's like you don't want people to. It's like you want to be invisible. <laughs> some of you guys could like escape to the bathroom just to get away from people. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, there, I'm hearing something about the energy is too toxic. Or something about the air being very heavy where you work. It's like before you even step through the door, you know that, you know, it's going to be a hectic day. Or it's going to be, I'm hearing tragic. <laughs> okay, some of you guys, you already know when you go to work, like, you know, it's going to be a lot to do. Or you're going to have all these people coming towards you. Or it's like you just want to be left alone. But some of you guys, you got your own shit going on right now. There could be things going on with your body. For some of you guys, it's like you're wanting to get healthier. 
or you're wanting to take time out for your yourself, but it's like you you can't because you're so busy solving everybody else's problems. It's like you can't even take time out for yourself. But some of you, you could be thinking about like a health regimen. You could be saying like, okay, this morning I'm going to get up, I'm going to go walk in, or I'm going to go to the gym, or I'm going to eat healthy. And it's like something always come along and like throw off your routine or throw off your plans or yeah, something that you're wanting to do. Okay, but I feel like it's for yourself. It's for your health. Some of you guys need to go and get a checkup especially if you're experiencing some type of pain i'm hearing back pain yeah some of you, i'm hearing something about a back brace some of you guys could be wearing a back brace or like you're having a lot of back problems or maybe you just need to go in for a checkup or something i'm hearing mineral deficiency I'm seeing minerals, something about mineral deficiency or something dealing with your calcium. Some of you guys could be needing to eat. I'm hearing eat more calcium, like um, health based foods that have calcium in it. Or something about your calcium levels here. Or like your bones or like joints and stuff could be hurting. You could be needing to go in and get some blood work or some, you're needing to get like a hormone check. Especially if you don't have kids or, you know, you're older in age now. I'm hearing that it's time for you to start taking time out for yourself. Yeah, because it's like you're you're spending too much time like. Focusing on things that really don't matter or it's going to be like when you get older, these things are going to be gone. OK, and you're going to be left with yourself. OK, the health that you're going to be in at that time. It's like right now, family, it's like you're wanting to take care of you and you feel like you can't. Like I said, some of you guys could be thinking about taking a trip. You could be thinking about going somewhere warm or somewhere where. You could just get away. Or I'm here and free yourself. This could be from responsibilities or your troubles. There could also be somebody on your mind because this woman is holding her head. And in this picture, this skeleton is holding their head. There could be somebody on your mind. And it's like, I feel like you're trying to get this person off your mind, though. Some of you guys could be working long hours or you work a lot to get a person off your mind or to take some type of situation here off your mind. But I feel like that's not helping. You're needing to deep dive or you're needing to really get to the source of the problem. You could be experiencing migraines or headaches. I'm also hearing insomnia. I'm hearing um, some of you guys could be going for like a CAT scan. Okay, especially if you're having like headaches. You could be thinking about seeing a therapist for some of you guys. We got risk. Some of you guys could be thinking about going to a therapist. But <laughs> I'm hearing I don't want people knowing my business though. Okay, they also got like therapists that you can see online, okay, where you don't have to go into their office. They can schedule an appointment with you on like Zoom or FaceTime or something like that. But some of you guys, you really do need somebody to talk to about your problems. There's a lot you're needing to get off your chest. There's a lot that you're needing to release. And I feel like this month, family spirit is calling for you to <sighs> something about your first house. The first house is dealing with the self, how you look at yourself, how like 
the environment look at you, people look at you. It also like talks about environment and early childhood. It's certain things here that you're needing to release. This could be fear, something about fear here. Some of you guys, there could be somebody who want to come towards you. And I feel like even though this person come off like they're happy or whatever, or this could be somebody who could be happy to see you. But I feel like this is somebody who know that it's easy to come back to you or they feel like it's easy to come back to you. This could have been somebody you dealt with in the past. Spirit, what else? Mm. Okay, we got balls. Whoever this is, family, I don't know why I feel like this person, they feel as if they own you, okay? Or they own women or men like property or something. Or, I don't know. Somebody is looking at you as property. Like, you know, they can come in when they want to. You will be ready when they want you to be or, you know, you will let them back in when they want. OK, but I feel like when you need this person, this is somebody who's never around or. It's like you got to wait for their call. I don't like this energy. <laughs> I don't like it. You guys, I'm also picking up like dealing with this person could cause some health issues. You would be taking a risk here because this is somebody who's dealing with a lot of people. This is somebody who's sexually active with a lot of people. But some of you guys, this could be a boss. It could be your boss. It don't have to be. But I really feel like this person feels as if they own you. This is somebody who feels entitled to you. Yeah there's a need for you guys to um I'm, i keep hearing focus on the self focus on the self but it's giving me your first house okay let's see let's see what the first house is i know it's the self but let's see what all that entails mm mm mm, mm. This is somebody who got some kind of nerve, baby. This could be somebody who also feel like you owe them or maybe you done dealt with this person for a long time. You could have been, you could have been in a, in, in like a on and off type of relationship with this person or something. Or this is somebody who just feel like. They can be with whoever they want, okay? Because they that damn fine. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. Mm -mm. I'm going to stop saying I don't know because I'm telling you something ain't right with whoever this is. The first house is often called the house of self. It is ruled by Aries and the planet Mars. And the placement in this house can give you a window into understanding more about your outer appearance, traits, characteristics, outer look, outlook, and sense of expression. Mm. This is like discovering your true identity. For some of you guys, it's like your identity is warped. Okay, because of certain traumas that you don't went through or certain situations you don't went through. Yeah, this, I feel like spirit is wanting for you guys to look at certain things that has been programmed in your mind when it comes to relationships, how you view yourself, when it comes to a partner or how they view you, something like that. Some of you guys don't went through a lot of toxic relationships here and spirit could be calling for you at this time to face certain things or heal from certain things in your past. Okay. 
like just say for instance you've been in a relationship where a motherfucker told you you was ugly or you had big ass eyes or you had big ass lips or you know don't nobody want you you need to lose weight why you eating so much it's giving me that type of energy okay and some of you guys you really feel like I'm I'm hearing damn unpretty. Somebody could have made you feel this way. Mm. I don't know, y'all. Let's see. Let's uh, clarify this shit. Because uh, I'm about to get pissed off. Your girl is about to get pissed off, baby. Let's see. We're going to use my new deck here. It's called Energy and Motion. You know what? I don't even want to clarify this for this person. I'm going to use this deck right here and clarify this right here because <laughs> cuz I don't I don't I don't want to do y'all whole month reading about whoever this is. Divine Holy Spirit, clarify this reading. What what is this about? What what is this? that you're wanting the Taurus to know. I'm hearing you are lovable. You are lovable. But the, it's like it's time for you to just start loving on yourself at this time. Like I said, there could be some deep rooted issues that your angels are calling for you to face this month, especially when it comes to relationships. Because I feel like you're going to have some people that's going to be very attractive to you and you them, but it's kind of giving me like repeating a cycle. And I feel like a lot of you guys, you're breaking away from an old cycle or it's like you don't want to repeat this cycle no more. I just heard the last one almost killed me. Okay, that's to be that could be for somebody significant. What's the main theme, Divine Holy Spirit? What is this about? What is this? That's the truth. Okay. That that's the truth. That's the truth. You got some little sneaky ass motherfucker that wants to come towards you. But this is somebody who's gonna come in and cause some more issues. This could have been somebody you already dealt with. This could be somebody new. But whoever this is, they're not coming in to like bring you something or to add to you. This is somebody who's going to take away from you. This is somebody who's going to cause you to be in your head or be in your mind or feel stuck or feel hurt. It's like you're not going to be able to stop thinking about this person. This is somebody who's going to have you distraught. This could also be somebody who's going to be bringing up old feelings and you know, and I feel like for some of you guys, you've been trying to work on healing, but it's giving me like a snake or a sneaky ass energy that want to come back in and manipulate dupe you. They do. And spirit is saying that's the truth. This could be an Aquarius. It don't have to be. But I feel like whoever this is, I feel like you guys are on the brink of some type of change. And it's like the devil is sending his last tactic or sending this person in to like throw you off or take you off track or something. I feel like you guys really do need to be careful. Okay. Cause Venus is in some weird placements right now. Um, yeah. And then, like I said, we got that Mercury retrograde energy coming up. Some of you guys are going to have people coming towards you. Because it's like they're wanting to get back with their ex or something or them and their girlfriend or boyfriend or wife or husband could be going through something. And this is somebody who's trying to take their mind off of them by sleeping around with you. OK, or interfering with your energy and shit. And spirit is saying, be careful. OK, somebody is wanting to use you as well. I keep hearing um, Twister. Let me play with your emotions. Somebody want to play with your emotions or some shit? Yeah, we got the seven of pentacles. Like I said, family, I feel like you've been putting in a lot of work. Or for some of you guys, you could have been waiting on this person to get their act together or, you know, figure out what it is they want to do or if they want to be with you. Or like, like for some of you guys, you've been waiting on whoever this is. But spirit is saying you're needing to keep moving forward. 
all right because like yeah it could be some fruits on this tree but this looks like it's dying okay something here look like it's dying or it's dead or i'm i'm hearing it's gonna devalue you and yeah this is taurus energy somebody is going to try to come in and devalue you you're going to feel devalued after this person walk away because this is a flighty energy divine holy spirit yeah judgment okay some of you this could be a scorpio we got sagittarius energy out here Give me a final outcome. The damn devil. Shit. Okay, look here now. I feel like this is somebody that you already made a decision about. This person could have walked away from you and decided to go to someone else. Or you walked away from this person because they was toxic. Or they was dealing with other people. You could have found out about this. But I, this, this, this person trying to sneak their ass back in. And with the nine of ones here, I feel like family, you know, you're tired of fighting for this. You're tired of putting your energy into this. Some of you guys could have dealt with this person for a long time. You put up with they shit, they shenanigans for a very long time. The, for some of you guys, I'm hearing nine years. It's like you're looking back at how much time you wasted. And some of you guys are saying no more. I'm not going to go through that shit no more. You better go find another chicken head. Or she better go find another another ninja, okay? But yeah, this person is definitely planning on coming towards you. Yeah, toxic, toxic as fuck. Like I said, whoever this feel is, they feel entitled to you. They feel like you belong to them, and they can come into you when they want to. I'm, I keep hearing face your fears, face your fears. Some of you guys, you've been wanting to tell this person something for a very long time. And I feel like you're going to have the ability to do this. And I feel like this is going to bring in some type of healing here. Whoever this is, they are going through a lot. They might not look like it, but they are going through a lot. Person could be going through something at work. Or this is somebody who's going through some type of health issues or something going on with this person. And I feel like they're not going to tell you that. This is somebody who's going to come in like they a boss or they a king or they got their shit together. I'm hearing no. Okay. It's somebody who's going through some type of hardship. Yeah, I'm hearing you're tired of fighting person definitely going to try to come in with an offer i feel like it took a long time or this somebody been dragging ass baby some of you guys could have been dealing with a capricorn or something about this person coming in um during this capricorn full of moon energy divine holy spirit show me what i need to see the devil here oh we got the full seven of wands. I'm here. I can't leave them alone. Some of you guys, you're keeping yourself stuck in a cycle. Not this person, but you. Because it's like you keep allowing the same shit to happen over and over and over again. You could be saying, you know what? I don't even want to be with him. I just want to fuck them. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm hearing here with somebody. Okay, I'm talking to grown people. If you ain't over the age of 18, you need to click off. But I'm talking to some grown people here. Okay, let's chit chat. Some of you guys, you're keeping yourself stuck in a situation. And like, maybe it's been a while since you, you know, you've been sexually active with somebody or some of you guys, you've been it's like you i'm hearing pent up frustration or tension you you could be saying i need to release the stress fly in for us all right but this is a motherfucker that got the ability to weasel their way back into your hearts and then drop you on a dime okay yeah you need to pay a close attention 
whoever this is, they're going to be coming in very fast. Spirit, Lord, come on, y'all. I need y'all to focus. Look, we got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you guys, you're dealing with a fire sign. This person got they wee wee everywhere. Okay, you see that one he holding in his hand. Okay, they got their little wee wee everywhere. This person is gonna come in, and I definitely feel like they're gonna want to be intimate with you the first night, or as soon as they see you, or like I said, you could be meeting this person out somewhere, or you could see run into this person. But this is somebody who's gonna want to come over that night or the next night and they're going to want to be intimate with you this is somebody who also get very angry or i'm hearing arrogant when they don't get their way i'm hearing watch this person personality shift okay especially for those of you who are going to say no this person is going to get very angry or like they could try to like say, well, sh you wanted it or, you know, why you invite me over here or, you know, whatever. Why you just didn't close the door in my face? You the one who been asking for me to come back. Oh, well, I got a reading that said that, you know, you wanted to get back with me. Okay. <laughs> Some bullshit. Some of these people that is going to be coming towards you, they also watch tarot. But I'm hearing arrogant and cocky. Okay, this is a prick you guys was dealing with, Divine Holy Spirit, or this could be a new person. Like I said, as of Pentacles, they have nothing to offer you. They have nothing to offer you, and you have everything to offer. Spirit is saying, do not lower your standards. Okay, I don't give a damn how fine they is, how good they wee wee it, whatever. Do not lower your standards. Okay. Just like they might have some good wee wee, baby, you got some five five too. Especially if you've been holding back and you've been working on yourself. But I don't think about them. They they wee wee all diseased and shit. Okay, like I said, it's been everywhere. So spirit is wanting for you guys to be careful because for a lot of you guys, whoever this is, they're broke and they're coming in to you because of what you got. They know you are a giver. They know you are a nurturer. They know if they ask you for something that you will do it. And they don't even have to ask you, okay? This is like after a couple of nights of you guys being intimate, this could be somebody who just laying up in the bed with you like, man, tomorrow I got to go ahead and try to see how I'm going to get a tire for my car. My, my tire been wobbling or some shit like that, okay? This is somebody who's going to be waiting for you to offer. Y'all, be careful. I don't like this energy. Divine Holy Spirit, show me what I need to see for my Taurus. What do they need to know? Truth and clarity here for my Taurus. Spirit, clear the energy. Man. Show me what I need to see for my Taurus for the month of August. What else do they need to know? Divine Holy Spirit. What else do my Taurus need to know? Here you is making me mad. What's the energy for the Taurus, Divine Holy Spirit? Baby. Oh, I'm gonna whoop y'all. I'm gonna whoop y'all, Taurus. I'm gonna whoop y'all. Show me what I need to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do the Taurus need to know? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Give me one more. Ooh. Mm, mm. Mm, mm. <laughs> so we got clairvoyance coming out in a reverse. All right. Y'all see it? Look, clairvoyance. Pay attention. This card says clear scene. Okay. Some of you guys are not trusting your intuition. You already know. Okay. And it don't just have to be about this person. This could be about anything that's going to be taking place in August. 
I'm hearing doubt. Some of you guys, you doubt yourself or you feel like, okay, well, if that, just because something bad happened the last time don't mean it's going to happen this time. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Okay? I feel like somebody in your energy done fooled you a lot of times. And Spirit is telling you that it's time for you to wake up and see the truth. You're going to get clear commun communication, okay, from your ancestors and your spirit guides. And you're needing to trust your intuition here. Yeah, I'm hearing vision. You're going to have a vision of somebody doing something that you already know they're going to do, okay? Or for some of you guys, like, this is giving me, like, um, there could be anybody in your energy that you know is very sneaky or should not be trusted. This could even be a friend, all right? Some of you guys, we are going to be telling you, don't go to that place with that person. There's not a good person to be kicking it with. There's not a good person to be hanging with. And you're going to go anyway, okay? You need to listen to your intuition here, family, for the month of August. Don't doubt yourself. And if you're doubting yourself, go into meditation and ground yourself. Because some of you guys, I feel like you might end up making a decision and later on, you're going to feel guilty about it. Are you going to feel ashamed because it happened? And this ain't going to do nothing but lower your self-esteem esteem or cause anxiety or sleep disturbances. Okay? Because I feel like you already knew the truth. Our spirit already showed you the truth. It's time for you to be genuine to yourself, to be authentic to yourself, to be loyal to yourself. Because I feel like family, I feel like Taurus, when you put your love or your energy or your attention into a person or into a thing or, you know, it could be anything, you stick with it. All right. You're not flaky. You're not. You're unshakable when it comes to that. You're true. And somebody around you know that you are true. They know you're loyal as well. This could be somebody that also asks you like who you've been dealing with and family, you can tell them everything that you've been doing. This person ain't going to do that for you. So why are you doing that to this person? Because this is somebody who's not going to tell you the truth. There could be a situation here, family. Like I said, you can end up feeling guilty or like feeling bad because you made some type of decision. But spirit is wanting for you to see some type of truth. Or you're needing to break some type of cycle here because a lot of you guys are wanting freedom. You're wanting to free yourself from this or you're wanting to break a cycle here. Spirit is saying you're too kind too. <laughs> okay. I'm here to stop being so damn nice. Or somebody going to be coming in being nice to you. I'm here and don't trust it. Be aware of distractions. Damn net. I swear, y'all, nets do not come out to I do my readings. Okay? This person could be monitoring you. This is somebody who could be monitoring you. But whatever you're working on right now or, like, whatever you're trying to change, fix, or grow, whatever, whoever this is is going to come in and cause some type of distraction. OK, this is somebody who's taking your attention off of what's most important and they ain't going to do nothing because you stress in the end. OK, some of you guys, I also feel like you beating yourself up about a decision here. Spirit is saying you're needing to show yourself more kindness. OK, stop beating up on yourself or stop criticizing yourself or I'm hearing you're your own worst critic. OK. Some of you guys, you're dealing with um, what they call it, body dysmorphia or something like that. And it's time for you to stop listening to what other people say, because I feel like, Taurus, you are beautiful. You're gorgeous. But you don't let people like this beat you down or hurt you or cause you to miss out on the best things in your life. I'm hearing no more. No more. Yeah. We also got clear gustiness coming out. This is talking about clear tasting. The ability to taste substance without physically putting them in your mouth, often linked to receiving spiritual messages. 
People with this gift might suddenly taste specific flavors associated with certain memories or messages from the spiritual world. So for some of you guys, I feel like you could end up having an ancestor that's going to come through. And maybe um, this is somebody who only ate certain foods or this could be somebody who drinks certain liquor or, you know, certain drinks. You could be tasting this. But I also feel like whoever this is that's trying to come in towards you that's no good, there is going to be like a familiar taste in your mouth when this person get ready to come around. You're needing to pay attention to this, okay? If you won't pay attention to your visions or your dreams, you're needing to pay attention to um, your other senses as well, okay? Because I feel like your spirit guides are trying to deliver you a powerful message. For some of you guys, your spirit guides could be like a friend that passed away. This could have been somebody you knew when you was a child. Or this could be like, this could be a loved one, but I'm picking up like a childhood friend. Or somebody you grew up with. Or somebody who was like your best friend. You could talk to this person about anything. Or this was somebody who said that they will always be there for you when you needed them. I feel like this person is going to come through. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They're trying to save you from some type of pain or hurts. Be careful. Okay, Taurus. Let's see. Where am I at? What time is it? Lord have mercy. Me and my time ain't going to have to get better. I need a clock that goes off. Okay. Or I can look at <laughs> So I can start time in my readings. But I'm just trying to deliver these messages. Divine Holy Spirit, show me what I need to see for the Taurus for the month of August. What's the main theme here for the Taurus? Okay, we got the world. The world is coming in in reverse, family. So some cycle here is not over, okay? Something here is not done. It's not completed. It's not finished. We got the Eight of Pentacles. So like I said, for some of you guys, you're really focused on something right now. You could be focusing on your job, on work. For some of you guys, you done started a new career or like um, you could be um, trying to start your own business. For some of you guys, you could be um, trying to get some things in order. Okay. You could be coming up with some plans or you're putting in a lot of hard work at this time. You could have multiple jobs or you got like extra streams of income coming in. Some of you guys, you got side hustles or like. I'm here in PRN. So you could be working full time somewhere, but you work PRN somewhere else. But I'm getting like right now you're trying to get your life in order or you're building right now. But there is a cycle here that's not over. Okay, right when you're focused on something, okay, distractions. I feel like I said, whatever this is you're working on, your plan is to free yourself from something. This could be fr from financial stress, burdens, or certain things that you've been having to do. And for some of you guys, you've been having to do these things on your own. But it's like spirit has put you in the energy where you can do so. And right now you're needing to be focused. Somebody is definitely coming in with distraction. They go that damn king of wands again. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Yeah, there's somebody who wants you to pay attention to them or something. Or like I said, whoever this is, this person very smart. They're very calculated. This person see you working or like this could be somebody who see you at work. Or this person know you're working hard right now. Or they know something that came to you. And it's like they eyes is on you right now. Okay, this person could come in in Leo season. Okay, August is Leo season. Spirit, what's crossing this for my Taurus? What's crossing this? Six of Cups, somebody from the past. What? You can't make this up. Six of Cups, somebody from your past. Somebody you know, somebody you done dealt with, somebody who. Um, you have interact with or you don't be intimate with or uh this is somebody who want to come back in and reconcile with you okay this person see you guys as victory and success i'm hearing the big catch 
okay somebody could like a fish or somebody um view you as fish okay i'm hearing fresh fish or fish in the sea this is somebody who <sighs> deal with a lot of fish <laughs> okay i'm hearing something about smells okay it's like whoever this is when they're intimate with somebody and for some of you guys if you link up with this person you're going to notice that this person going to throw your ph balance off okay do not trust whoever this is okay they see you building on something here whatever you're building on or whatever you're working on is going to put you in a very very solid energy okay it is spirit what's going on subconscious for my taurus august Okay, we got the magician, but it kind of came out crooked. So family, like I said, you are manifesting at this time. You have all the tools, everything that you need, okay, to see this through. To bring whatever this is in your life. Yeah, some of you guys could have recently graduated or since you graduated and you done started your career, it's like now you can make the moves that you want to make. Some of you guys, like after you graduate, you could be working, but you are also going back to school. There is a need for you to be very focused right now. Eliminate any distractions if you can. This is Virgo Gemini energy. But it's like family, you're shooting high, like you're aiming high right now. This is showing up in your subconscious. You know you can go far if you put your all into yourself. And I feel like that's what your angels are wanting for you to do. Okay, we got the chariot. You moving, baby. What? Okay, some of you guys, you're moving. You're making moves. You're moving forward. Like your life is moving. For some of you guys, you're, manifest, you're manifesting like material gain or some type of material wealth. You could be purchasing a new car. Some of you guys, you could be traveling out of town or I don't know, but you look good. Okay. You look good at whatever you're doing right now. Yeah. Mm, Spirit, why is the chariot here? Show me why, why is the chariot here for my tours? Four ones. Family, for some of you guys, you're putting in major energy because you're building something solid. But some of you guys, you are, um, whatever you're doing right now is going to lead to stability and security. Some of you guys, the money that you're about to make or the money that's going to be coming in in the near future, you will be able to purchase a home. Okay. Some of you guys, you're ready to be stable or you're ready for, you know, a significant other to come into your life. Or for some of you guys, you was waiting on this person to come back, okay? But it's like you don't realize that this is somebody who's only going to tear you down. They're only going to hold you back. Spirit is wanting for you to move past the past, okay? Because I feel like there's a new energy trying to come in for you. But for some of you guys, you're going through a test. You're going through some type of test right now, okay? With the four of ones family. You about to conquer something. And this damn devilish ass energy is trying to come in and ruin it. Some of you guys could be planning on relocating, especially if you plan on purchasing a home. You could be finding a home on the outskirts of the city or something. But some of you guys, you're about to move for real, for real. And I feel like for some of you, if this is somebody from the past, they could find out that you have moved and now this person want to come towards you. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Like I said, whoever this is, they're going to keep you stuck. Or this is somebody who feels stuck right now. Or maybe this person, once they find out, this is somebody who's going to be sitting back, plotting and planning on how to come back in, trying to get up their energy or the courage to come see you or spend time with you or figure out how they can get you back. I don't like it. Show me the past energy spirit for the Taurus. What else? Because I'm spending so look at this. Queen of Wands. Y'all been putting in work. What? 
Y'all been putting in that work, baby. Y'all showing up as the queen of wands. Y'all see that dragon egg in her hand? You birth dragons, bitch. <laughs> you see that dragon up in the, in the sky, baby? You done birth something, okay? And I feel like you're working on something else. Right now, family, you are creating, okay? You could be creating with your hands. Whatever this is, I'm hearing ancient wisdom. It's like spirit is giving you all the wisdom that you need to see something through. Some of you guys, you've been working on a vision or a plan or a goal, and you've been taking action here in the past. I feel like you've been working on building yourself back up, your confidence, all of that. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. It's the source, baby. That's, that's the truth. Spirit wants you to remain on your throne, okay? You keep that crown straightened up on your head, okay? Because whatever this is that you're moving forward or you're moving toward, um, this is going to bring you ultimate happiness. Don't, get, I keep hearing, don't get distracted. Some of you guys are saying, yeah, I didn't listen to my, um, my intuition in the past, uh, clear, uh, fly empress, you know, I, I went through those stages of feeling self-conscious or feeling unworthy and all of that, but I pulled myself up out of this shit. Okay. I started looking towards my future. I didn't let that, that, um, put me down. I didn't let that keep me down. I started creating, I started manifesting. I started tapping into who I really was and, you know, being my true authentic self i'm working on myself right now all right but for some of you guys i don't know why i feel like you can have a weakness for whoever this is some of you guys could be seeing 717 coming out real heavy or you're seeing 777 but i'm hearing you got this fire in you okay that won't quit it's like once you put your mind to something you won't quit. You won't. Qu you will not stop until you succeed. Some of you guys, you have succeeded in something, but I feel like you're working on some something else right now. Spirit, give me another card for this Queen of Wands. I'm hearing you had to reclaim your power. Ace of Cups. You had to reclaim your power. You did start giving yourself that self love and self care. You had to heal yourself from like toxic friendships or relationships or even I'm hearing a family dynamic. OK, some of you guys, it was something going on with your family or you could have had like people in your family that. I don't know, I'm hearing they said slick shit or they could have talked about you or you could have found out that some people in your family did not mean well for you. OK especially when you succeeded at something or you graduated from some, I don't know. Okay. Four of cups. It's some people you had to walk away from. Yeah. This only card that's in the reverse, but I feel like you did this. You could have also made yourself a promise that you wouldn't go through this no more, but somebody is trying to test that. Some of you guys, you are going through a test. We got the king of cups here. So for some of you guys, you could be in a new connection at this time. You could be. This could be with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Or there could be somebody in your life um, after whoever this is walked out or walked away. There could be somebody in your life that treats you the way you supposed to be treated. They treat you like a queen. This is somebody who gives to you or... This is somebody who's very patient with you or they was very patient with you, especially like if you guys, if you hooked up with this person, this is somebody you wanted to take your time with because you feared going through that pain again. I feel like whoever this is, they were patient with you or for some of you guys, this could be somebody who's going to be coming in in the future, but this is showing up as a past energy. I feel like this person is very empathetic or they know where you come from. OK, for those of you who have connected to somebody new, this is somebody who 
see the best in you or they bring out the best in you. This could be somebody who want to start a family with you, okay, with the four ones in a chariot. You could definitely be in a new connection. And some of you guys could be thinking about marriage or you did marry this person. Or for some of you guys, you could be expecting a child with this person. If you are in a relationship, be careful, especially if you're not looking to have any children no time soon. Because for the month of August, you can end up getting pregnant. All right, I'm seeing that. And this could be with a little girl. Yeah. Oh, spirit. Give me another card. Okay. <laughs> Let me hurry up. Yeah. No, what? A, woo. <laughs> Family, some of you guys, look, whoever this is that, that, that came into your life, whoever this is trying to come back into your life, this is somebody you did give your whole heart to. You thought you was going to share your life with this person. You had made plans. This is somebody that um you had long-term goals with okay this person could have told you that they loved you they cared about you all of that okay but i feel like this is somebody who was in and out okay they could have had feelings for you but i'm hearing that this person cared more about themselves or this is somebody who wanted what they wanted okay if they saw something they wanted they went after it this is somebody who definitely broke your heart Okay. And a lot of you guys are saying no more. I'm not going back through that shit. No more. This broke your heart. Yes. It could have took you a long time to get over whoever this is. Spirit, I did not want this whole reading to be about this person. Okay. So we got the future. Okay. This is coming out in a future position. We got the star in the reverse and we also got the tower. All right. Like I said, you have a decision to make. If you let this person back in, this is somebody who is going to prolong your healing. This is somebody who's going to come in and cause a tower. This is distraction, destruction. This is, <laughs> this is a faulty foundation and your angels are going to intervene. Okay. There's a test you're needing to pass. Spirit is wanting to know if you're going to pass it or not. So you can go to the next stage. There's a lesson here that you're needing to learn. You might not have learned this lesson in the in the past life, but I feel like you're needing to learn it in this lifetime so you can break this cycle. Okay. Yeah, with the star in reverse, this is in a tower, baby. This is hurt, hurt. Okay. Some of you guys could have been dealing with Aquarius. We got Scorpio energy here, heavy. We also got Aries energy here. Mm. I feel like you're going to get signs. Okay. You're going to get signs. Be careful, family. I'm hearing set you back. This 17, that's 16. Whatever this is, it's going to set you back. Queen of Swords and piss you off. This is arguments, fights. Um. This per um whoever this is, family, I am picking up that this person got some type of health issue with the star. Cause star for me is hope, faith, healing, energy. In reverse, somebody is not healed. This could be mentally or like physically with this person. There could be some type of health issue. Okay. And it's like they're going around spreading a disease or, you know not doing anything about it in infecting other people be careful okay because the queen of swords this is giving me like finding out news that you don't want to find out yeah i'm hearing pissed and with the queen of swords coming in sideways look y'all in the upright you got a, a spaceship you got the cherub you got the hawk this is all talking about your intuition okay you could be seeing spirit animals some of you guys, you will hear very vividly your angels talking to you or giving you a download or a message. Don't go there. Don't deal with that person. Don't let that person come in your house. I don't care if they wrap it up or not. Leave them alone. Let them go. Okay. Yeah, I'm hearing even your star planet could end up reaching out to you like, nah, baby girl, keep going. Okay. We got bigger plans for you. You're needing to listen here. 
spirit, emotion. Show me what I need to see. I need to hurry up. We got the sun. So this is showing up for your energy. So you are in this vibrant energy. I feel like your energy is radiating this month or there could be a lot of attention on you this month. All right. Some of you guys, you are very happy or you're in some type of celebratory energy because you know something is coming towards you or you're working hard to get that something. OK. But this is joy, good news, all of that. Some of you guys, you're going to be happy to hear this person from this person. But I really feel like this is regarding the self. There's some type of accomplishment that you're going to make this month. OK. And it's like once you get in this energy, I'm just seeing like your aura expanding and everybody looking like, who is that? OK. Especially past people. Yeah. I'm hearing attitude for gratitude. They're gonna, there's a need for you guys to have gratitude for what you have or what you done accomplish. Because I'm hearing you done went very far or you worked very hard. You worked your ass off. One in nine, this is 10. Something is completed and something very successful is, is coming through. And I feel like this is coming through this year. But I'm telling you, it's like a demonic spirit that's trying to set you back. Yeah, justice. Okay. Some type of justice or fairness or something here is going in your favor. I'm hearing the wheel, even though we don't have the wheel of fortune here. I'm hearing the wheel. Yeah. Some of you guys, I'm hearing something about um joint custody. Or this this is kind of giving me like, just say for instance, you are taking care of a child, you're raising a child on your own. There could be somebody who is not picking up the slack or you're having to do everything. You guys, you could be going back to court and this person could have to pay. This could be somebody who's a deadbeat, a deadbeat mom or a deadbeat dad. Okay. Something here is going to go into your favor. Okay. Spirit, give me another card for the emotion. Yeah. Six of wands. Victory and success. You got victory and success look at this card okay behind this soldier right here is a man that look pissed off okay it's giving me that song on eight mile when he was like um now why you gassed up notice that such and such did not have their hand up okay yeah this is somebody who's not happy for you or this is somebody who's looking at you like damn they think they doing some shit damn i didn't know they was gonna graduate from college and become um, a doctor or a nurse or, you know, damn, they don't went far, man. You know, this is somebody who's looking at your success or they see your success, or this is somebody who's going to hear about your success. They see the moves you make or something. Okay. You're needing to be careful, um, about the people that want to come in and celebrate with you. Okay. I'm hearing that too. Whether this is a friend or whatever, you need to be careful because everybody don't have your best intentions, baby girl or baby boy. Spirit, what else? Baby, you in the lab, okay? You in the lab cooking some shit up. This is your environment here. This is showing up for your environment. This is like you guys testing stuff to see if it works. Like, nah, I don't think that that's going to work. Let me add a little bit more sugar. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, it's like you guys, it's like I'm hearing trial and error. Some of you guys definitely could be in school or like you could work in a lab. Some of you guys could be scientists or you work at the hospital, medical field, don't have to be. But with the Seven of Pentacles, this is you guys like figuring out what all else you need to do, what all else you need to take care of. Yeah, you're very focused at this time. You're trying to get something done or make something right. You putting a lot, baby. Look at the nine of pentacles, baby. Because I'm hearing you about to go far. You plan on going far. It's like you're working hard now so you don't have to do it later. That's the energy I'm talking about. Baby, what? Okay. Some of you guys, this is giving me like friends or co-workers or like people you work with. Some of you guys, this is like a team. 
some of you guys, um, I'm hearing help. Like you and a colleague or you and a coworker could be helping each other out. Or for some of you guys, you're going to be outsourcing resources or something. This could be about um, a contract or some of you guys could be getting a home built from the ground up, but it's giving me like, what else do I need? You know, how much more would that cost type of energy? Yo, family, stay focused. Okay, stay focused. Because there is a celebration that's going to come in for you. This is, look, Taurus energy. Okay, Taurus and Capricorn energy right here. So yeah, page of wands. This is showing up for your hopes and fears. I feel like family, um, some of you guys could be wondering if you're making the right decision or if you're going in the right direction. You could fear that something um, is not going to work or you put all this energy into something and it's not going to pay off or something like that. I feel like you are going to go far. I feel like spirit gave you this download or showed you where to go or showed you what to do or showed you your future or a glimpse into your future. Yeah, to bring balance. Because like I said, for some of you guys, you've been very overwhelmed. You've just been doing a lot on your own. Give me another card here. Okay. Yeah, eight of wands. Baby, you're going to go far. Because how the hell you take that one staff and turn it into eight? <laughs> okay. You're going to go far. But I'm also seeing like a lot of things coming towards you. This could also be a lot of people coming towards you. There could be a lot of people who want to work with you. But some of you guys, I'm hearing um, there could be a lot of people who want to accept you into their school. This was some of you guys. Or you have a child that's very smart. And there could be a lot of um, colleges reaching out to a child here. Okay. Or for some of you guys, you're wanting to make sure you have enough to put your child through college or, you know, put them through school. I'm hearing you're going to have plenty or something is going to be plentiful. The actions that you're taking um, is going to bring you in more opportunities. I'm also seeing like a lot of people fighting for your attention or your affection here. I'm hearing choose wisely. You're going to have a lot of people um, wanting to be with you or wanting to be around you. Okay. We got the 10 of wands coming out. Okay. This is coming out for like the final energy. So like I said, for a lot of you guys, you're putting in a lot of hard work right now. So you don't have to do it later. It's kind of giving me like this man is changing his oil, okay, or changing his transmission or something. So he ain't got to worry about his car breaking down, <laughs> okay, later on. This could be somebody who's on a long journey. Something about maintenance. Some of you guys are really needing to check under the hood, okay, check in with the self, check in with most high, okay, about any decisions that you're making right now, especially when it comes to situations where you're not clear about okay yeah but i'm also getting like there's there's somebody who's trying to come in and this person is a burden this is somebody who wants you to repair them fix them take care of them all that dumb shit okay and spirit is saying baby be careful because right now you're moving you're you're moving very well it's almost like you're transporting or you're going through some type of portal. But yeah, family, I feel like your hard work is going to be paying off, though, for the majority of you. Spirit, give me another card. A lot of fire energy. Yeah, this is somebody, this person ain't got shit off you, okay? This is somebody who can't even fix on their car. Because in this car here, it shows a man under the hood. This car right here, this man sitting by, by a bike, like just sitting there. Like I said, somebody could be asking you to fix their tire or fix something on their car. They might not ask you directly, but this person going to hit around about it. Okay. This pinnacle kind of giving me a tie. 
or somebody need money or somebody need your help or somebody know that you got it. You you need to be careful, okay? Be careful, because this is somebody who don't have nothing to offer you. This person is very reckless, reckless. Yeah, I keep hearing I get around spirit. What else? Six of Swords. This is moving on. This is you, you guys moving on to calmer waters. You see that man back here? That's your spirit guide. They taking you away from all this chaos or this bullshit. Or whoever this is that's trying to reel you back. This is you guys moving forward. Okay. And you just you not on some regular ship. You on a blimp. Okay. You on a blimp. <laughs> All right. Spirit is saying, don't go this way because that blimp gonna buzz. Okay. A damn storm gonna come and you're gonna get cast away. Keep going in the direction that you're going in. Somebody is trying to come in and play mind games with you. I keep hearing too, your hard work is going to pay off. Take time out for your physical self. Take time out to check in with you and what you need. And, you know, any type of fear or pain that you still have stored inside you, it's time to release it at this time. Okay. Because this is something that's really holding you back. Because you're moving to calmer waters here. You're moving towards the sun. This is kind of giving me like them moving towards the sun. Okay. High priestess. Trust your intuition. Okay. Trust it. I keep hearing spirit guides, like animal spirit guides. If you see any animal that stand out to you, or if any animal come through your vision, okay, you're needing to look up what that animal mean in your situation. So, like, just say, for instance, you see a gorilla, <laughs> okay, and you're concerned or, like, you're thinking about a relationship, type in what does um, a gorilla animal spirit mean when it comes to a relationship or something like that, okay? But sometimes it matters what color it is, what color eyes it is, what it was doing in your vision or if it was just staring you in the face, like sometimes that stuff do matter. Check in with your intuition to see if what you discover is true or, you know, if that's what you was feeling. Okay. But baby, I'm hearing your intuition is going to be on point. Trust it. Because some of you guys, like I said, baby, whew, you in your head. You got to get up out your head. Divine Holy Spirit, show me what I need to see. Truth and clarity for my tours. Ooh. Okay, I was not trying to let all that come out. I ain't going to stay too long in this, though, family. Okay, some of you guys, you can have the first, middle, or last initial S. We also got W. We got T. We got J. Somebody named could be, or nickname could be TJ. Or somebody could have the initial the initials SW. I ain't got sleepy. Um, we also got B. This could be your first, middle, or last initial. We got D. For some of you guys, there could be a baby daddy that's trying to come back in. Okay, be careful. Okay, we also got L. Somebody first, middle, or last initial could be L or H. We also got P. Look, PH, I'm telling you, family, if you mess around with whoever this is, you're going to notice that your PH has been thrown off. Something don't smell right, something. Okay? Yeah. I'm also getting 69. Okay? Uh, family, and like I said, we grown. We grown ass women, grown ass men. And I know some people ain't used to me talking like this, but hey, baby, I. I it is what it is. I pick up on energy. So this is the energy I'm picking up on. And this is the energy I'm going to talk about. So some of you guys, um, you could get a little bit freaky deaky. Okay. We, I'm picking up on 69. For some of you guys, if you do decide to go down there with this person, something is not going to taste right or something is not right. Okay. Something is not right. Yeah. We also got X. We got Y. We also got P. 
we got T again. And we got Z. Okay. I'm hearing Playboy. Um, I don't have an A here, but I, I just heard Playboy. Somebody is a Playboy or a Playgirl. They play too many games. This is somebody who's very freaky or uh, this could be a covert na narcissist or something as well. Okay. Somebody initials could be JB. Um, I'm hearing what would Jesus do? <laughs> Somebody could have a bracelet that says, what will Jesus do? Okay. Um, I don't know. Somebody could be thanking you for something. Okay. Or like I said, family, just be careful who you allow to come to your home. Okay. Whoever this is, they could be coming in or saying, thanks for like inviting me or something like that. I don't like it. Um, let's see. I'm also picking up DL. Somebody could be down low or somebody could be by. I don't like it. I'm also hearing box. There could be somebody who's wanting to keep you guys in a box or when they want to have control over you or they feel entitled to you or there's somebody who like to take you out and play with you when they want to and put you back in a box. Okay. I'm hearing JT. Mm, I'm hearing set up. Okay. Mm, no, it's, I don't like it. It's like somebody trying to set you up. And somebody could be trying to like set you up where you can get so comfortable. You leave your purse around them. They take out your debit card or, you know, take a screenshot of your credit card or some shit. Or, like, somebody is not telling you the truth about what's going on with them. And you could be open to this person. And this is somebody who whoo, could cause a lot of problems, baby girl or baby boy. Somebody like PJs, okay, or something about you guys being in your PJs. Or you could be watching, I mean, you could be in your PJs watching me or something like that. And you know, somebody could like peanut butter and je jelly sandwiches. Okay, this could be you or your kids. Okay, something about a pet. You could have a pet. This person could have a pet. Or you could be thinking about purchasing a pet. Okay, somebody could have placed a bet on you. Saying that they can be with you when they want to or something like that as well. Yeah. I'm hearing hip. Something about. I'm hearing hepatitis. Somebody could have hepatitis. Or something is going on with someone's liver. I don't know. Somebody could be drinking a lot or I don't know. Or for some of you guys, you do work in a um, medical field or something. Hepatitis B. Somebody could live in Texas or Tennessee. I'm also here in Houston. And oh shit, you look, oh my God. I heard about Houston outbreak in STDs. They got like 42,000 cases in one week of STDs. Y'all, wrap it up. Wrap it up. Don't be trusting these ninjas or these chicken heads out here now. They don't care. Okay? They do not care. This is somebody that lies and said, well, I believe you been had it. You gave it to me. No, 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 no. HS, somebody could be in high school or for some of you guys, you got kids in high school. 
Mm. I'm hearing plaid. Somebody could wear a lot of plaid. Or maybe when you see this person, they got on plaid. Okay. Yeah, bye. Some of you guys, I feel like you're going to be able to read this person's energy and you're going to be like, bye-bye. Especially if you watch this video. Um, <laughs> I just heard bullshit. <laughs> yeah, some of you guys, you smell bullshit or you smell something ain't right. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm hearing something about Philadelphia or Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know who live up there. I don't know. I'm picking up on like a celebrity or something, though. There could be something discovered about a celebrity that lives in Philadelphia or Pennsylvania, something like that. Um. What else? Okay, somebody could be um, on a police force or work for the police department. Okay. Somebody could be a physical therapist. Or for some of you guys, you could end up meeting a physical therapist. Somebody have a very strong smell when they urinate. Okay, I'm I'm smelling it. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. What else here? Have to move him around. So. Hmm. I ain't got a lot of vows out here. Um, what else, spirit? What else do you want Taurus to know? I don't know. I'm hearing something about let go. Some of you guys, you really need to let go, or this is gonna be your month to let go. But some people, I don't feel like they're going to pass this. Okay, like I said, if you're watching me, I done gave you the heads up. Like I said, be careful. I'm hearing something about thy shall obey my command. I feel like this is something that God has told you to do. Or God has told you to do this before. And a lot of you guys, you've been sticking with it. But I'm hearing that this test is coming back around again. Somebody's name could be Ted or Teddy. But like I said, family, be careful. This could be anybody. All right. Look, fam, I love you guys so freaking much. I finna get up off here. I gotta be at work in the morning. Um, but I hope this resonated, okay, for whoever is supposed to resonate to. I know it's not going to resonate for all of you guys, but it's for somebody out there. And I'm glad I stayed. I decided to stay up tonight and do you guys reading, even if it was just for that one person. OK, because this is somebody who really needs to know what's up, because whoever you are, baby, you got a lot of blessings on the way. OK, the sky is the limit. You about to have that life that you always wanted. Don't let this moron. OK, throw you off track. Okay, I love you so much, family, and until we talk again, peace.